That's another set of championship fixtures that have been ticked off as we get a week closer to the championship season coming to an end. There is just two weeks to go. Before we get into this video, guys, if you're feeling brave enough, I dare you to get your predictions for fifth and sixth down in the comments. Which two teams are going to wrap up the last two championship playoff places? And do make sure, of course, to hit that like button. We'll go for 301 likes on this big video. And do make sure, of course, to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to get your championship fix on this channel. Channel. Like I say guys, we've ticked off more championship games and this is the state of play in the championship table right now. We're going to draw some cutoff lines again there because the top four are done. They're just in their own league. I mean, they've been brilliant this season. Burnley are up. Sheffield United are on the verge of being up. Luton and Middlesbrough have wrapped up their playoff places. And the teams have cut off below that with Watford, Bristol City. They can't make it anymore. I know Watford are six points off, but the fact that Millwall still have to play Blackburn means that one of those two teams will go past 65 points. So Watford actually don't have a mathematical chance of making it anymore. So it's two from eight to make fifth and sixth in the championship this season. Before we get into the teams involved, and their fixtures for the final couple weeks. Let's just have a little look at the championship form table for the last four games. It's notable to look at Swansea City top of the table over the last four games with four wins in a row and a plus eight goal difference. They've actually given themselves a good mathematical chance of still getting in there at the end. We all know that they still need to win their next two games, but the form they're in, it's not impossible Swansea could make it, but they are still relying on other results, but they're in with a shout. The next team in the playoff race that are high up in the table are Coventry City. City, which is my team. Two wins and two draws from the last four games. Eight points. It's a good return. Two points per game. I do think two points per game from the last two games, which would be four points, would get Coventry City over the line. The next team in this conversation are Sunderland. They are fifth, also with two wins and two draws from their last four games. Their form's actually quite good. They haven't lost in quite a few games. The next team after that in the conversation are West Bromwich Albion. They're seventh in the form table with two wins, one draw and one defeat. Seven points from four isn't terrible, but their most recent defeat to Sunderland has really shot them in the foot. Next up, you have to go down to 14th place where you find Blackburn Rovers. Their form's not great. Four draws in a row for a team that weren't drawing for the first half of the season. It's really incredible how things have turned. Blackburn Rovers seem to still be playing quite well, but they're not getting the results. Everything that could be going wrong for Blackburn is going wrong. Late goals going in, decisions going against them, and their form at the moment isn't quite playoff form. The next team you've got that are in the conversation are Preston North End. One win, one draw, and two defeats is four points from four games. A point per game won't be enough for Preston North End to make it. Now they probably have to win the final two games and we'll come on to their fixtures in a minute. Millwall's form is terrible with just one win and three defeats in four games. That is definitely not playoff form and that's got them slipping out of the playoffs here and they're in 20th place in the form table. And bottom of the form table are Norwich City who are a team that still have a mathematical chance of making the playoffs. I do think their fans are resigned now to the fact that they probably won't make it especially with this poor run of form. If they win their final two games, it might still be able to get them in there. But the way they're going at the moment, it doesn't look likely. So then, that's the form of the teams involved in this playoff race. Well, what about the fixtures? As you can see, some of these teams involved have three games to go. Some of them have two games to go. Here is the full set of fixtures for all the teams involved. We'll go through it team by team in order of how they are placed here. First up, Coventry City. As I say, my team, we occupy fifth place at the moment. It is possible that after the games in hand that Blackburn and West Brom play, out in midweek that we could fall outside the playoffs but it would require Blackburn to beat Burnley and West Brom to win away at Sheffield United by two goals. So Coventry City look good enough to stay in the top six for at least the week and then they do need to beat Birmingham City looking at that fixture there and it might be a case that we were required to get a point at Middlesbrough on the final day. It's certainly a tricky final day but Coventry City have the advantage of being higher up in the table and having it in their hands I suppose going into that. In my opinion Coventry City need four points from these two games to get over the the line. As I've said for a few weeks now, 70 points should be enough to wrap up just a top six place. And I think it's possible if we can beat Birmingham City at home, we might be able to get a draw at Middlesbrough who might not be playing for anything on the final day. If we lose the Birmingham City home game, it could be out of Coventry City's hands going into that final day. We might need to beat Middlesbrough away and hope other results go our way for things to work out for us on that final day. A draw at Birmingham would keep things in the balance. We'd probably need to win Middlesbrough, as I say, to get those four points. A win against Birmingham and like I say we might still need a draw at Middlesbrough hopefully not but it depends on the other teams as 
I say, Coventry City probably need four points. I think four points would be enough. Three points could be enough. I don't think we need to go all out for six points, although that would be great. I think four points might just be enough for Coventry City. Next up, you've got Sunderland. Sunderland are now in that top six, 65 points. As I say, to get to 70 points, Sunderland might need to win both games because four points would only get them to 69. It is worth pointing out they have got a very healthy goal difference, but it is going to be interesting to see. Looking at those fixtures, Watford at home, that does look winnable for Sunderland. Watford are not in great form. They've not got a lot to play for now. But then Preston away on the final day could be really interesting, especially if Preston still have something to play for. So Sunderland need to go for six points there, especially with the fact that the teams below them have a game in hand. We'll be watching those games in the week to see if anything changes in the playoff race. Next up, you've got Millwall. And Millwall just seems to be giving it away to the other teams at the worst time possible. As I say, since before a ball was kicked this season, I did back Millwall to finish sixth. It's still possible, but given the form that we've just looked at, I don't know about this. Blackpool away on the Friday night is going to be tricky, but Mill will have to go for a win there. Blackpool are going to be fighting for their lives. It's a massive game where both sides have got to go for a win. And then Blackburn at home on the final day. The best that Millwall can hope for is that they're still involved going into that final day and that they could beat Blackburn and still jump in there. I do think six points would be enough here for Millwall. I don't think four points will be enough, especially with Sunderland and Coventry having better goal difference than Millwall. They have to go for two wins and they'll also be having a keen eye on Blackburn and West Brom's midweek games. Next up, you've got Blackburn Rovers. They're in eighth place. They still have the highest possible upside out of all these teams involved because if they win their three final games, they could get up to 74 points. Having said that, though, Blackburn Rovers haven't won in a while and I'm sure their fans feel like everything is transpiring against them this season and they do have three very difficult games coming here. Burnley at home is going to be an absolutely massive game. It's obviously a big derby and the plus side for Blackburn is now that Burnley have been promoted, their results haven't actually been that good. So Blackburn can see that as an opportunity opportunity it's going to be an interesting one both sides come into that not in great form Luton at home is going to be tricky as well but Luton might not have a lot to play for so can Blackburn target that one as well and then Millwall away on the final day you could not write this it could be an absolute blockbuster I think Blackburn Rovers once again need to get to 70 points their goal difference isn't great so I don't know if they can afford to go for one win and two draws I think if Blackburn go for two wins and one loss from the final three that gets them to 71 despite their poor goal difference I think that could be enough they start with a big game against Burnley on Tuesday night. The next team are West Bromwich Albion, another team with a game in hand. And like I say, I've been keeping an eye on them over the couple of weeks recently, but that defeat to Sunderland has really caused them a lot of damage. Looking at their three games, I think they're in a similar position to Blackburn here. They need to at least win two of them. They might need to go for seven points. They start with Sheffield United, which is going to be very tricky away from home because Sheffield United need that win to get over the line. Norwich City at home, they might be able to win that one because Norwich are not in great form, but Norwich City themselves know that they need to win that game to have any chance of making the playoffs so that'll be interesting and then Swansea City away on the final day is not an easy one here for West Brom I don't know if they can afford any more defeats I think they need to go for seven points here six points could be enough but it'd be depending on other results again so they really need to get off to a good start at Bramall Lane to give themselves any chance of making it next up in 10th place you've got Preston North End Preston are still in there and they did get a late draw at Blackburn Rovers Dominic Hyam's own goal a former Coventry City player I was bouncing around my room when I saw that one go in it keeps Preston in with a chance they do need to win the final two to have any chance of making it as that would get them to 69 points but their goal difference isn't great. Looking at Preston North End's fixtures here it is very very interesting as I said they do need to go for two wins. Sheffield United away will be interesting because if Sheffield United beat West Brom and get promoted could that be an opportunity for Preston to beat a team that haven't got anything to play for or will there be promotion fever and Sheffield United are playing really good football because there's so much positivity in the air. Either way Preston needs to take three points from Bramall Lane to take it to the final day where they play Sunderland and who knows a win against Sunderland on the final day Preston might just jump above them and might get into the top six. It's not over yet for Preston North End. Norwich City sit in 11th place. They still have a chance despite their poor form. But once again, they have to go for two wins and that might not be enough. They can only get to 68 points now. And I'd be surprised if that's enough, but it's not impossible. West Bromwich Albion away. They have to win that one. Then on the final day, it's Blackpool at home. And that could be a really interesting one. If Norwich still have a chance of making the playoffs and Blackpool still have a chance of surviving, that game could be crazy. Potentially a big game at Carroll Road on the final day. 
away. The last team we'll mention are Swansea City and they're still involved here. They just have to keep seeing where they are after each week. But as I say, they still have to keep winning. Two more wins and it could be enough, but they do have the slimmest chance out of any team involved here. Swansea City start with an away game at Hull City, which won't be easy. But Swansea, as I say, have to go for a win to keep any chance alive. And then if they win that one, it could be a massive head-to-head -head game with West Bromwich Albion on the final day. And there's no doubt about it, that game will be dramatic if they both still have a chance, like I say, come that final day. So then guys, that is the state of play in the championship with just two weeks to go. That's the table, the form table and the fixtures. Like I say, share your thoughts down below. I won't bother trying to predict it as it does change every week. It's very close. Coventry and Sunderland occupy the playoffs. Blackburn and West Brom have the games in hand, but there's still loads of other teams that still have a chance of making it. If you've enjoyed this video, do make sure, of course, to drop a like and subscribe. And we'll talk about the championship playoff race again very soon. Peace out.